Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hey, today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Look, instead of being out in the woods and doing food plots and stuff, today I'm going to talk about a cell phone app. And the particular app I'm talking about is the Scout Luck Hunting app that you can put on, I think it's for both Android and uh, the iPhone. But you can install this on your phone. It's a pretty cool app. It does a number of cool things, weather, measures distances, area, uh, you can log your stands. Uh, on the uh, overall satellite map, um, create logs of your hunting a or the game activities, a lot of cool different things it can do. I'm going to walk you through all that today and show you what this thing's all about. Then you can make a decision you want to put it on your phone or not. So let's get into it. The first thing we got to do here is go into the Play Store. So once we get into the Play Store, you're going to Go ahead then and go into the search field at the top in Google Play and you're going to put in um, basically your scout look hunting and you'll see there's the, uh, there it is right there. You click on that, it brings you to the app. Um, at that point, now you can go ahead and just download it and install it. Once we get to here, now we will see this is one of the main uh, views you see once you open the app up. Um, in this particular one, I've got one of my tree stands here. This one's called the Pine Tree Ladder Stand. And what that's showing you right now is the scent cone. Um, this is the direction of the wind and where your scent will blow uh, based on the wind. And what I'm doing right now is just changing the time. And you'll see as I change the time, it changes the, uh, the direction as the wind changes throughout the day. Uh, the next one is here you can also have logs for each of your stands and this particular one um, I had logged a button buck um, at this stand feeding on apples because I'm actually hunting under an apple tree and so I hadn't did that. Now the other thing about the scent cone is in this particular stand setup you'll see the pattern of the deer kind of move in this I'm going to call it east to west direction and also I've got another trail that goes from the north to the south and so when you map out those two directions of the deer travel you see that the scent cone that I have currently is the ideal scent cone for hunting that particular stand and so that's what you want to take, in my, take into account when you start looking at this. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can mark um, different observations of animals so in this case you, you tap on the phone and you hit save and in this case I'm going to save a um, a new log um, for a buck sighting and you just walk through the the app here and you go through and you can pick out all the different things where it's located I'm going to say the pine tree stand um, that it's a that it's a buck um, you click on that and then it gives you, um, you can pick the number of antler points, the right side and the left side. I'm going to say this is an eight point. Um, you can give it a name if you want. You put down the age, I'll say it's a three and a half year old deer. And then what the, what's the deer doing? So they give you all kinds of different options here on what, what you observe the deer doing at the time. I'll say here it's uh, uh, seeking and cruising. And then you just go ahead. Uh, you can also mark if you harvested the the animal there and then you just ha add the log and it'll actually store it then. Um, another thing you got here is you can also do um, measurements in the app. So here I'm going to actually take from one of these stands you, have, you see over there, I'm going to measure the distance. Um, I'm going to measure the distance from that stand to one of those uh, yellow dots there which is one of the observations in this case it was a um, I believe it was a buck but so I'm going to click the distance uh, click and hold on the on the map one point and then the second point and then you'll see there it gives you the distance down there at the bottom at 20 yards so I know from sitting in that stand if I shoot across that food plot there it's 20 yards so here's another uh, thing you can do here is add stand locations. So you just basically hold your finger on the a place on your map. Um, or if you're actually sitting in the stand, it'll actually show you exactly where you're at. 
and then you can put that right into the uh, program. You go ahead and add a new place, put a name for your stand. You kind of change, is it a blind or a stand? In this case, it's a stand that I've added. And then uh, you can put more comments in there. And then uh, you can also put the perfect wind direction. So you click that button and then you can uh, go ahead and select what you feel is the perfect wind condition or wind direction for this particular stand. On this case I'll say it's from the west. And then you go ahead and click the add place and it'll place that stand in that location. One of the other features that this has is it also measures area. So not only can you measure distance but you can also measure area with this app. And so you just go ahead and with your finger pick points around, in this case I'm measuring my uh, large food plot here, and just go ahead and pick points around the outside of it until you kind of get the whole thing mapped out. And in this case I got, uh, that's pretty close. So uh, if you look down at the bottom it says that's about 1.05 acres. So whenever I go to figure in how much seed I need, I know I need about a one acre food plot. So here the next point here is measuring again distance. So I've got a rifle stand set up there uh, on that food plot and if I was to measure from my rifle blind across the food plot it was 82 yards. Another feature that the app has is it also has like a, a weather feature to it. So in this case I'm going to kind of look at a cloud overlay what the clouds look like. Now here's a little wonky thing with the app. For some reason it sets you back off the coast of Africa after you click on it, but then you gotta zoom back into where you're at. It's kind of a bug in the app, but then you can see here, here at my house here in Michigan, it's a little bit cloudy, and that's about the resolution you're gonna get on it, so it's not perfect. And then the other thing you can do, actual weather overlay, um, from a radar and so now this is the radar overlay and again it sho shoves you back out, out off the coast of Africa and then you gotta come back. Um, hopefully they'll fix that in one of the next releases but you can see the uh, the radar and you can also do uh, the have it play you know the last hour or so and give you an idea which way the you know the weather's moving as you're sitting in your stand. And finally the last feature here is uh, what they call a scout track. And this is a new feature I think they just added within the last year. Anybody who's hunting in a new area, you're hunting on state land, someplace you're not familiar with, this is perfect because you can set this at your vehicle and then once you um, decide to start walking out to your hunting spot you go ahead and hit, click that scout track button and hit the play and now it's recording you as you walk to your hunting location. And so this is perfect for um, making sure that you don't get yourself lost as long as you got your cell phone charged of course and you're using your GPS um, from your cell phone. And, and this kind of gives you an idea too um, you see there at the bottom what the strength of your GPS signal is at the time. In this case right now I've got a strong signal. You see the it's pretty um, the little halo there on me is pretty tight to where I'm walking. Um, as your signal gets worse you'll that halo will widen out showing the error in the measurement. <clears throat> but anyway this I just took a quick walk in the woods to demonstrate here. Um, how this tracks you and then you kind of get to the get to the end there and um, as you can see that now it's a little bit bigger halo over my location as the signal's not as strong and we get further out and then and um, we'll go ahead and save this then once you save it you'll have it there it'll show there on your map um, kind of the green spot where you started, the red spot where you ended, and then now you've got that to kind of guide you as you go back. I haven't played with this a whole lot, but uh, it's a pretty cool little feature. Um, 
I'm not sure if I play around with it a little bit more, it may actually be able to track your actual path. Here it's just showing uh, as the crow flies type of straight line from point to point. So may not be, you know, that may not be the greatest thing. I would ideally like to see it actually track our, your path, which would be perfect. So that way you can actually walk back the exact same place you, you walked in. Um, but it is a, it's a good, good feature anyway, just to keep yourself from potentially getting lost. Um, of course, I would always have a compass or something with me just in case, because, um, we know cell phones don't always keep their batteries or not, are not always reliable. So an old magnetic compass will be much more reliable than your cell phone. All right, guys, there we go. That's a, that's a Scout Look hunting app. And please let me know if you put a comment below if you've, maybe if you've used this before or if you found another app that you thought is just as good or better, you know, leave me some comments down below on what you think about this thing. And if you're planning on installing it onto your phone. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If this is something you think others may like, uh, go ahead and send it out to other people, share it. Um, and then if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And there will be more videos like this coming up in the future. Um, between this and lots of different hunting activities that I've got coming up here. Getting ready for the hunting season. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.